The next one is quite exciting uh, for those that uh, like to play around with the DHS2 API or, or have found themselves needing to play around with the DHS2 API. And this one is the OpenAPI 3 specification. So for a long time, we've had a, an API in DHS2. Uh, it's been quite extensive. It still is quite extensive and very powerful. Um, but sometimes it's it's too extensive and it's hard to really figure out what's going on, what's available, what's where. Some things are, are most things are documented, but some things are, are a little bit uh, harder to de determine. Uh, it's difficult to, to inspect or to uh, automatically kind of generate clients or those types of things for the very extensive DHS2 API. And so in, in version 40, we're very excited to release a specification for uh, the entire DHS2 API um, in the OpenAPI 3 uh, specification format. So you can see that uh, you, can, you can download that API specification um, at, uh, from your DHS2 instance in version 40 and above. You can also uh, download subsections of that API because it is quite big uh, and that can be problematic for some clients. So you can actually download a section of that specification. So only the specification for the user's portion of the API, for example, um, using a, a, a different URL. Um, both JSON and YAML formats are available. This is an API feature, so it's kind of behind the scenes. Um, but you can also visualize and see that uh, what that API looks like um, using a, a, a an open API specification browser. Um, and there is will be one linked uh, shortly to docs.dhs2.org, and soon also will be available as a DHS2 application embedded in DHS2 itself to be able to see and explore the API within the instance that you have running. This is just an example of a, a open API specification browser called Spotlight, um, Stoplight, sorry, which uh, allows you to use the, 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 that specification document in JSON and to explore uh, visually what different endpoints are available, what, what options they take, what, um, uh, what methods, HTTP methods that are available, uh, and what type that would return. And this also gives you examples of how to, um, uh, how to authenticate with this uh, uh, API and how to use curl to test it out and many other things. So we're excited to, to explore more ways to expand this um, API specification visualization tool um, to expose it in docs.dhs2.org as well as in DHS2 instances themselves.